Approximately 1 to 2 percent of twin pregnancies face management dilemmas following the diagnosis of a discordant anomaly affecting only one fetus. In case of a major fetal anomaly, parents should be counseled on management options for the pregnancy, which include expectant management and, if local legislation permits, selective termination. Data are lacking on whether the position of the abnormal fetus in the uterine cavity affects the course of pregnancy and outcome, post-selective termination. This study aimed to compare outcomes following selective termination of the presenting versus non-presenting twin. This was a multi-center study of dichorionic diamnionic twin pregnancies that underwent selective termination due to a discordant fetal anomaly. The study population was divided into two groups, according to the position of the reduced twin. The primary outcome was a composite of early complications, including infection, preterm pre-labor rupture of membranes, and pregnancy loss. A total of 190 dichorionic twin pregnancies were included, of which 73 underwent selective termination of the presenting twin, and 117 of the non-presenting twin. Selective termination of the presenting twin resulted in a significantly higher rate of early complications compared with the non-presenting twin. The rates of pre-term delivery and neonatal intensive care unit admission were higher and birth weight was lower in those pregnancies in which the presenting twin was reduced. Selective termination of the presenting twin resulted in a higher rate of adverse pregnancy outcome compared with that of the non-presenting twin. These findings should be acknowledged during patient counseling and, if legislation permits, taken into consideration when planning selective termination.